Hello everyone and uh, welcome to the Shaco support video. If uh, you came here from uh, the Vice support video, good for you. If you did, you can uh, get uh, you can go see the Vice support video. It should be uh, up uh, also. And uh, also very interesting, very uh, very insightful. But not the same kind of thing as Shaco support, obviously. So first of all, we're going to talk about the, the summoner spell choice here. We we went for an uh, exhaust and ignite instead of a flash because Shaco doesn't really need a flash most of the time, and uh, if you have the ignite. You can uh, have much more of an impact in a fight, especially in bottom lane, where you, the enemy team almost always has a heal, as we can see here. And if you get, if you can get that uh, ignite on, you can prevent that heal, or uh, half of that heal. Next thing I want to talk about is the fact that Shaco support has never really been a thing, but since his latest changes, he's much more viable in the support role because of uh, his ult, for one, and uh, and uh, most of his other other abilities. The fact that uh, his uh, his boxes have to be three shot now instead of. Uh, you know, HP based. It's uh, much more useful in bottom lane, where uh, normally you would have to like the ADC would shoot it once and it would die, but now it has to shoot them three times. So I was very fortunate to get a gen support in this because. With Jin, we can have a kind of a double trap thing going on with the boxes and the, the lotus traps. And uh, it's going to be very hard to gank this lane, obviously. And we're going to stay safe, which is uh, one of the problems with Jin is uh, mostly the, his escape. He doesn't have really good escape. But with the traps and the boxes, he's uh, much safer with uh, me at bottom lane than he would with, uh, say, a Lulu. So what I mostly want to do is keep my boxes in the bush. Uh, you don't want the minions to trigger them, you want the the champions to trigger them, you want the enemies, you want the fear to proc on them. And we're going to be maxing boxes first so we can get the most damage out of that. And also, uh, nothing uh, really stands out in the form of cooldowns. Nothing stands out in the form of uh, cooldowns when uh, you uh, up the levels on the abilities. So it's much better to just um, boost that damage on boxes and get the most damage out. I also went for a coin here, an, uh, an ancient coin here. Instead of... Uh, say, a uh, Relic Shield, because what I mostly want to do with Shaco is stand around. I don't want to have to go in and, uh, you know, auto-attack a minion every now and then just to proc the, the Relic Shield. 
Because the Shaco benefits from staying unseen and uh, being a. Uh... Anyways, here comes the gang from Nilly. We uh, can get the good shot off of Annie there, but we're not going to be able to get the, the, the Quinn, even if she's going to try. So that was just bad on Nilly's part because she went too far while most of us had already used our abilities and we were low on health. There's no way we could have dove that. But Quint was nice to, you know, just come back and give us a kill, so... What you want to do with Shaco support is that the enemy is mostly going to be focusing on the ADC and not you, so you can have a lot of time to just get behind them and get those crits off of your passive. And it's better to wait... The, the longer you wait for the E, the better, because you're going to get more damage off of the percent health missing. So what you mainly want to do is just like Q in behind them, put a box down, and auto attack. And start auto attacking. And then when they get low, you, you want to use the E, but you want to try not to get the kill off of it, obviously. But if you have to, you can use it to secure kills. So one thing particular about Shaco's support is that I'm not going to be upgrading this medallion anymore. I'm not going to be getting wards. Mostly because I have boxes, so I don't need to get wards. I, I can just use boxes instead. And that's going to leave me an extra slot for an item later on. But we're not going to get that far. We're not going to get that far, but... Uh, if we would have gone that far, I could have just sold my medallion at the end for a good item. Instead of a, just a subpar support item like uh, Eye of the Watchers or uh, anything like that. Um, just, uh, just keeping that with the boxes is enough for Shiko, you don't need to get the wards. So another thing that's useful about the new Shaco support is that it's that uh hold on, gotta get away from that. What's useful about it is that the new invisibility mechanic is gonna make it uh, pretty much impossible for uh <laughs> that was a nice flash gonna make it pretty much impossible for uh, the enemy to counter your chew and your invisibility because there's no there's no way that they can uh, use a pink ward and show you oh man we got a nice catch off of both of them here can we go back on that like uh, here we're gonna see Annie just walking into my box and dying that's pretty funny and then we're gonna catch this uh, Quinn with the with the trap. And I basically forced her to run back into it. Fiddle's coming a bit late, but most of that is uh, pretty good. So it's gonna happen a couple times where people are just gonna walk into the boxes. It's pretty funny. You just most of the time, you can leave boxes in the bushes or in just narrow path like this one. It's gonna be pretty useful. Now we can get it on this fiddle with the ignite, which is another good use of ignite. Is that 
uh, when you face when you're facing an enemy that's healing, even if your mid lane is not there, you can use your ignite and prevent that heal. You don't have to buy uh, a grievous runes item; you just have it right off the bat. So that's my bad bit because I was uh, writing in chat and then they just Gwyn just comes in with her with her ult and uh, I didn't see it coming at all. That was my bad on that one. One of my three deaths in this game. It is a really stupid one. Here I'm patiently waiting for an item because I was waiting on gold income. I was really close to getting that uh, needlessly large rod, which I'm gonna use to build a Rylai's crystal scepter. I also bid. I also built Ionian boots to get the cooldown on the boxes and uh, most of the abilities. That's good to have on Shaco. There's not really anything else you can use on a Shaco support in terms of boots. But, with the Needlessly Large Rod, I'm going to build Rylai's Crystal Scepter, and the main focus of that is going to have, is to be, is to have the slow on the boxes. Because unfortunately, you're not going to have a slow off of your uh, auto attacks, and you're not going to have uh, a slow off of your, uh, your Q. But your boxes attacks will have slow, kind of reduced slow because they're counting as uh, minion damage. But still slow nonetheless, and you want to keep people in your boxes the longest possible. You don't want your boxes to have an impact on uh, people coming in. And uh, you basically, you, when you put a box down, you really want to shut down that path. And you don't want people to just run in, tank the fear in the box, and just roll past. You want them to to, to be slow. You want them to, to to be completely shut out of that path. So that's why we're going to get Riley's Crystal Scepter. It's also going to give us... Um, that was a good uh, old tough of a fizz. It's also going to get us some slow, some extra slow on the E. And uh, it's going to get us some slow on the on the ultimate procking. Like when the ultimate's going to blow, when the clone's going to blow, it's going to slow. <laughs> when, the, when the clone's going to blow, it's going to slow. Can't really do anything for Jin there. It's the, too bad, but... You're gonna get the slow on the on the on the clone, and you're gonna get the slow on the boxes of the clone, which is uh, one of the things that pretty good about the, the new Shaco support is that when your clone dies, it spawns boxes, and the boxes are very good. They do very good damage. Here they tried to get a dive going, but uh, there was no way that was happening. I tried tanking a few hits, but uh, they still managed to die. Couldn't really do anything there. So what would have been nice with this is that if uh, Leandries actually worked on the uh, on the box attacks, it would have been really good to have rallies. But uh, now it's just a good item instead. It's a really must buy item. Because Leandries will not proc off of the box hits. It's only going to proc off your E and your clone explosion, so it's really not worth getting real Leandries.
Leandries is also good. Uh, not Leandries, but uh, Valley is also good for HP. It's gonna give the it's gonna give the Mia a little more tankiness. And you really don't want to be, you know, that squishy glass cannon Shaco because there's no point in that. There's no point in that when you're support. You want to stay in the fight as long as possible. So here, even when we're really low health, we can just spawn the clone, get out of there. We uh, have a getaway path, we uh, use the box. There's no way they're coming in through there to look at uh, what happened. And actually because of that, he could get the kill, it's just pretty nice. And then Renekton gets the kill on the Fiddle. So that's really what you want to do with the boxes. You want to shut down a path. And uh, get things going. Here we told Renekton to uh, start the dragon. We get there uh, pretty early. Uh, he's going to get a big counter, but we're going to get there in time. And uh, save that dragon. Uh, never mind, I meant... Uh, we would have saved it if the Nuli could have smited it, but that was not the case. So seeing Quinn there, you, you know, you just drop a box wherever you, wherever you are. The box cooldown is uh, low enough though, so that you can just lay boxes here and there. And uh, make sure nobody follows you around. But you really want to keep them on the narrow paths. You don't want to put them in the middle of a, a big plane, a big field here, for example. You want to keep them, you want to make sure people proc them. Here, Fizz is going to get caught, but I um, can't really go over and help him out. Without dying, of course. I was actually waiting for him to use his uh, his chum the waters over the over the ledge, but he never did. And then Renekton got caught. And not much you can do about a bad team, but you know, you make do. So uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that since we took uh, the uh, ancient coin and now, uh, which is now the medallion, but since we took this support item, this golden cum, uh, it's clear that we're not in for the roaming as a Shiko support. What you want to do is stay with your carries and protect them. You're not a ganker. You're a protector, you're your support, so you have to stay. You're not going to initiate anything, really. You're mostly just going to make sure nobody dies, and uh, or you're going to capitalize on and initiate. It's just, such as this, you know, you're going to go in, put a box down, and he's going to die. And uh, that's what you do. That's Shiko support. You just help out. You don't do everything. Mm. Helping out is fun. You can do a lot by helping out too. I, what I mean by helping out is not mean you do you don't do anything. It's not that you don't do anything, it's mostly that you're just going to be supportive. You're going to do en enough damage to make a difference, 
but you're not going to do enough damage to be a carry, obviously, because you're a support. You have less gold, you have um, you have less items, so you have to mainly be on the edges of the fight and not into the fight, if you know what I mean. You can send your clone in the middle of the fight, that's fine, but you don't want to go in the middle of the fight yourself. Here we're going to get a nice catch off of uh, Darius. He's not going to die though, he's going to be pretty close. So here I have Grievous, Grievous Wounds on me, I'm a bit low. I don't want to go too far in. But if I have to, like, uh, like, uh, like if it, this enemy comes in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and boom. Unfortunately, I got the kill on that one, and then uh, Phil came in. Oh, I just wanted the assist, so I got the kill on Annie on accident. I just wanted the assist with the with the E, because I knew she was dead already. But unfortunately, I got the kill off of it. So now we finally have our Rylize, which is uh, going to help out with our boxes. The next item we're going to get is a uh, Black Cleaver. Because we're going to want some armor shred and uh, some more cooldown reduction. You want to get to that... You want to get to that 40% cooldown reduction for the most boxes and uh, the most uh, abilities you want to cast, the more clones and etc. You want to get that 40%, it's going to be very important. And uh, Black Cleaver is a good uh, 20%, it's a nice chunk. And uh, it's going to give you some damage. So Black Cleaver is going to give you some damage, it's going to give you some CDR, it's going to give you some health and some movement speed, basically anything that's good. It's going to get... So that's why Black Cleaver is a must after the rallies. We're getting a nice catch out of, of Annie, which is, uh, which she was uh, pretty much out of position. Second ability we're gonna max is the E for uh, for your damage, obviously. And you're not, you're not gonna get much off of the Q because it's uh, just the in the it's just uh, a a bit of extra damage on the on the crit and uh, a bit of extra time on the invisibility, but that's not really useful as a support. What you want is the extra damage on the E. And you mainly want to use the the Q to just uh, get away or get in. There's not much to use it for, apart from that. Just like this, you get in, put a box down. Unfortunately, he flashed away and didn't get feared, but we still caught him and uh, he died. So again, and he just walked into a box and uh, died right there. It's really useful to have those boxes. They're a nice source of damage and a nice source of uh, getting people off guard and out of position. You want to leave, leave them every here and there so you can get stuff.
what you want to mostly use your clone for, you're going to mostly want to use it to either get aggro off of you, get some extra damage, or just uh, use it as a getaway pawn. Like uh, when you run away, you just spawn the the clone, then have them have him chase uh, whoever's chasing you, and then uh, he can die faster because he's low health. And uh, it's gonna spawn the boxes and uh, do uh, more damage. So here we managed to get Darius out of that fight with the box, which is uh, very useful because the fight moved on, and we see seed him with the fear and the and the slow on the box. Uh, he couldn't get back in the fight fast enough before everybody died, and then he proceeded to die himself. Shaco's support is really good on focusing priority targets he, because of his uh, Q, obviously, and uh, because he can put a box in before he uh, stop being invisible. So here, nothing we can do really for Renekton, we just uh, left him there. And, uh, yep. I left the box there in case uh, Quinn uh, came in. To get Jin, obviously, but uh, she never budged, so that was fine. Here I'm getting back into the fight with uh, Fizz, and see if I uh, can if we can do anything uh, off of uh, whoever's here. Well, unfortunately, Fizz and Lily got really caught there. There's nothing I could do. Uh, Jin, both Jin and uh, and Renekton were uh, not there at all. So I wasn't gonna go in like uh, 3v5 and die myself as well. Renekton goes in like 1v5 though. We try to help him out and it actually works out. So I can get some uh, good uh, damage on the, on the fiddle prevent him from going to the fight and then uh, my clone gets Ari and Jin uh, is gonna get uh, nothing really but he's gonna he's gonna fight off the Darius and that is my final death for this game Here I don't really know what Jin was trying, but he actually managed to bait a fill out of there, but we're gonna lose Dragon to that obviously. Well never mind, Nilly Nilly came back around and got the got the spear on it. I'm finally back, uh, waiting for a bit for uh, some income and uh, see if I can uh, get that wit's end. So I noticed there was a lot of magic damage on the other team. Wit's end is going to be pretty good uh, to get uh, some attack speed, some uh, extra damage, some MR, 
and uh, basically also some MR shred. So whoever I'm going to attack now is going to have their armor shred and their MR shred. Which is uh, pretty good for my team, obviously. But uh, the other item I would want to build, I'm not going to have time to build it, obviously, but the other item I w would want to build is Ginsu's Rage Blade. Because uh, it's also going to be useful for the clone, as well as for me to get some extra damage on my attack, some extra attack speed, some extra AP, and uh, some double procs off of Black Cleaver and Wit's End. Right now I am at 40% cooldown reduction uh, that I was talking about earlier because of the black lever, the medallion, and the Yaoyo Yao boots. So all my cooldowns are as low as it can be, well maybe not as low as if I had the, the mastery for that, but it's not really useful in this case. In this case the keystone I used was... Uh, was the bond to have some damage reduction and uh, some more uh, protection for my carries. So here we're gonna go help out uh, Renekton, who is getting uh, shit on my carries. Not really much I can do with uh, low HP, but we got an ace, so there's nothing to worry about. So here we're gonna have a good play by Renekton. He's gonna go in on the fiddle while I finish off the inhibitor. He's actually gonna get the kill on it. And I'm just trying to stay here, cover their escape. The, I, Nothing much I can do in terms of uh, helping out with such low HP. Well, Ari was nice enough to, you know, just go over the wall and get killed by her neck. So that was pretty funny. So I think this is where the enemy king is going to surrender soon. So I just want to take this time to. Thank you all for watching, and uh, if you like this video, just like and comment below if uh, you think there's anything better you would build on a uh, Shaco support. And uh, you know, give me your thoughts, give me your uh, your opinions, and uh, that'll be it. I'm gonna show the scoreboard after the game, so if uh, you can just be patient enough uh, to wait for the surrender, it's gonna be any second now. Right. Is it going to be a surrender or are we going to finish this? <laughs> I actually don't remember if this was a surrender. <laughs>
Alright, we're gonna go help out the reactant and push it out top. He's obviously in control of the situation, so it's better to be around him. It looks like this wasn't a surrender. I'm gonna be finishing this off. Alright. That's it for Shaco's support. And a uh, funny story, this is actually the third S I got on uh, Shaco's support. Uh, let me just bring up the scoreboard, there we go. So, 13k goal, 13.7, 6.317, good for an S on Shaco, not an S uh, minus, but an S. And it's actually the third S in a row that I got with uh, Shaco. I got a... Uh, I got two defeats earlier this uh, before that match, but I still managed to get an S off of them with the uh, seven two two and ten four twenty one. So to uh, to conclude, uh, Shaco support brings a lot of utility and a lot of uh, damage to a fight. He has uh, the Ignite that helps with uh, the bottom lane. And the boxes doesn't require him to buy an eye with uh, some wards. He can just use the boxes as wards, which is uh, good for him and good for the team. Don't have to spend gold on, uh, the, on some wards. And uh, yeah, I guess the, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to be uh, heading off now. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys in the, the next video.